Right then guys, so we are down here at Fleetwood Golf Club. One of one of England's oldest golf clubs and we just hit the back nine. Myself and Mr. Rob Potter. Hey guys. Finally we get you out on the golf course, just you and me. Just you and all, you and me. It's just great. you and me. So this is a practice round for my event coming here on Thursday. And what we've just found out, it's also going to be Rob's event. Because it's a pair, so me and Rob are going to take on the world. Let's do it. So Rob's having a great round so far, good front, front nine, but we're going to play a completely separate match, back nine. Not that I'm losing or anything, but on handicap I am. It's a tenth hole, par five, pretty much straight down. It's not a bad hit, just up the left hand side. It's a bunker you've got to navigate. Navigate. I'm not sure if it went in. Not sure though. Not sure. Go on Rob. This is the first time manning the camera. It's scary. How did you hit that one? Uh, didn't feel it. Didn't feel it too bad. It's just a bit towy. Reckon that's the flag just up the left there. Huh? Yes, I believe it is. Bullet. Drive, sir. He's been driving it good all day, to be fair. Get the zoom now. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty it. good. Don't worry, Rob. You almost got it. You almost got the zoom. Yeah, so, I, I didn't quite do it, yeah. I it's, uh, there's the flag just there, and I think I'm pretty much smack bang on. Oh, you can just see it just there next to the bunker. It's a long par five. Let's get down there. It's me against Rob. How many shots are you having? Uh, six. Six, yeah. Six shots. Half six. Okay, Robo. So just up the left side of the fairway, uh, we're actually mistaken the flag. It's actually the red one, but it's it's very similar uh, line. It's just there, just on top of the hill. How far have you got? Uh, I actually get Sorry, you're ready to it. go then, weren't you? Yeah, no, I couldn't. I couldn't get the top of the flag. It's I can't measure the top of the flag, so I'm just going to play a five iron up and just leave it off the wedge. Okay. And I'll be safe enough with that. Good plan. Plus, I've got a crap some crap stance. Oh, it's right on it. Not really see much from here, but that, if it's taking a couple of good friendly hops, skips and jumps, That'd be nice. it could be very close. Nice shot. So not a bad drive, considering I went for the wrong flag there, Rob. Yeah, all right, so blame the caddy again. <laughs> At least it's straight. Uh, right, 183 yards left in. I'm gonna hit seven iron. It's a par five, but it's not an overly long one. No. If that is the club, that is good. Caught it? Yeah, front think edge, so, yeah. Front yeah, front edge. Yeah, just got it there. Just, it actually stopped quicker than I expected to. I thought it was going to go a bit further. Not bad. Yeah. Lovely shot there, Rob. Thank nice you. layup. So we've just figured out Rob does have a shot down here. So here for one. <laughs> I like that. Idea. Uh, and you can just see I'm just on just on the front edge there. So it's going to be interesting. Well, that's it's right on it. It did a bit of stopping. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe 20 feet past. Yeah, hopefully. Ready for your part, for your birdie putt. So, Rick's played his second shot up to here now. He's got himself a, a lengthy birdie for a, a gross eagle. And I'll be quite grossed out if he does get it. But, uh, to be fair, Rick's playing really, really well at the moment. Um, he's, striking it, he's striking his drives as pure as anything. It's a joy to watch, so I'll see if we can get in this pot. If he's hit it, oh, just can't just hit good it. line, yeah, he's just, just, just not quite got it. Unlucky that, mate. Yeah, go on, go for it. So he's got this for a, for a birdie. So he goes with this one. Ooh. Oh dear. Three put par. Three put par. Very good. Thank you. 
<laughs> oh, wonderful. What a, what a brilliant feeling. What a great feeling, Rob. Uh, are you enjoying that? Mmm, yeah. Just leaves that real, real nice taste in your mouth. Yeah. You know, putting for, putting for an eagle and coming off with a par. That tastes like mouldy cheese, isn't it? it? I think it's worse. I think it's worse. Right. So this is now for birdie and without the shot, a win. Two putts for the win of the hole. Tracking. This one's slowing up a bit now, isn't it? It's getting uh, just gone how just gone four o'clock. Not sure if you can say that, but it's fine for the win. Oh, oh, wowza! Right, one up, sir. Let me show this beautiful backdrop as well. One up, on to the next. So Rob Potter, thirteen handicapper. Goes one up. Nice work. Thank you. Might be taking those clubs back off you. Uh, <laughs> Get used to it, shields. Get used to it, wow, okay. So this is uh, 11th hole, really short one, 134 yards, back into the teeth. As you can see, kind of not really, uh, not many hills around here. Very, very, very flat. So a bit of bunker, upside down, saucepan for the green. What are you hitting, Rob? I'm hitting eight. Okay. Is it the wind? Pull. I think it's just because it's into wind this. Yeah, yeah. I'll just, uh... I'll just move back a touch more so I can get you all in. Okay, looking good, looking good. No. Oh no. Oh Rob. Oh Rob. Oh dear. It's a long way off that, sir. Uh, yeah, it's a postcode that. You don't get a shot here. No. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Focus through that one, Rob. Uh, pants, yeah. basically. I like it. A long way inside coming in. A long, long way inside. Long way inside. I'm going to tickle a little nine in there. Try and guide it under the wind. Oh, he's just starting to draw nicely. Just coming in. Ooh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Uh, that's a spade moment. You didn't see that. You didn't zoom again, did you? No, I, I didn't zoom that. <laughs> that's. But I, I don't want to zoom the bad ones. I don't want to give you the good ones. You've mate. got to zoom it. I know. I should have zoomed it. I know. My bad. Well, I was... So it was literally tracking right online. And if I can just do this from my golf club, it literally landed on top of where's my golf club? That bunker there and trickled into the bunker. Honestly, I thought it was going to go in. The hole, not the bunker. No, guys, that's not, not Dubai skyline in the background there. <laughs> it's not, no. It's actually a bird watching tower. That's right. Bird watching tower. Anyway, we found Rob's in quite a nice little opening here, actually. Um, work to do. A little bit, yeah. Work to do. That wind's going to help you a little bit, so yeah, that's one thing. it's going to flop it up. Yeah. That looks okay, actually. Stop. Yeah, well done. Too much. Not I, I think I think over hitting is much better than under hitting there. Yeah, certainly. So, Rick was really, really, really unlucky with uh, his tee shot. My bad, I didn't quite uh, zoom in it like I should have done. We're just going to this pot bunker now. Should be a relatively decent splash out for him. Shouldn't have too much difficulty. Not his greatest. But from there, it's not to... Uh... No, how do you, you feel with that one then, Rick? How what, sorry? How do you feel with that one then? Did you just quite a bit too soft? Yeah, I didn't really know how the sand was going to react. No, see. See, this is a funky looking rake. That's kind of different, isn't it? Very difficult to rake with. Yeah. Then again, though, you're not used to doing that. That's generally my job. <laughs> being lackey. In fact, why am, I, why am I holding the rake and you're holding the camera? Because I'm just good. We've got this wrong way around. 
Well, you know, you have handed me a club already once today. Uh, what, sorry? You have already handed me a club once today that I left. Yeah. And I have already lost one, so... So, Rick's now got his pipe up. If we just step this back a little bit. It's got about 15 feet. It's a... It's a... Oh, oh he's got it! Oh. He's got it! Oh! The first putt he's actually hauled all day. I'll tell you what, if that would have finished short, I said to myself, if that finishes short, game over. <laughs> Okay, feel feel happier now because that, like Rob said, that's literally the first hole of uh, first put I've hold all day. I'm gonna do this one right after. Rob's aim pointing here, as you can see. Not standing on his own line. Wow, back to front aim pointed. Yeah, something he, uh, he taught me to do over there. What the aim point god? Yes, the aim point god that he is. The man, the legend <laughs> that is. <laughs> Okay. All right, there's nothing I'm looking there. forward to doing some main point. Nothing in it? No, there's not. It's, it's just outside the right, I think. Okay. It feels that way. Be confident. For the half. I have to be for the half. Whoa, he stayed on that right lip. Great, okay, great right pace. There. Great pace. Well done. Back to all square. So, 12th hole, another par five. That's a nine. Yep. 10 and 12th are all par 5s. Short par 5 this all, 4, 7, 6. A really tiny par 3 in the middle. So this for Thursday, yep. that kind of corner. And there's another par 5 on 15 as well. Isn't yeah. yeah, there is, yeah. So that corner needs to be smashed really, doesn't it? Ba basically, you come back, it's uh, it's 38 coming back in. So it's it's a 9 holes where you can really, really make a score. Right, just going to go straight down the middle. Yeah, it's a good plan. You happy enough with that? I am. Good boy. It was it was edging, edging, edging towards a bunker, but yeah. I think it literally just had to have a look in and say, not for me, not today, not today. Right, <laughs> rather. It's very, very, very flat piece of land. This isn't it. Its only protection really is the is the sea, which out here I'm hopefully I can zoom in far enough. You should be able to just see over that wall some wind turbines, so you can tell kind of how windy this place normally is. It's quite a calm day today. Yeah, we're not going to get this calm. Not a there. zephyr, is it? No. Robbo! Whew. That is a wonderful drive. Okay. Spring on the face there. Over the hill and far away. Yes! Rob Potter's drive. That's where Rob Potter's drive is going today. Oh yes. This is a fantastic drive, Mr Potter. Yeah. Fairway splitting stuff. It's got to be into wind. Yeah, so who's coming out? Bob. Bob's coming out to play. Okay. Bob's coming out to play. That, cl that club looks very uncomfortable on Bob. Is Bob all right with that club going where it's going? Well, he's got a smile on his face. Oh, well, well there you go. <laughs> what more evidence do you need? I did bite it from Manchester. <laughs> How far are you away? Uh, 211 to the front, but it's wind into it. It's, it looks longer than 211. It does, it does. Where are you getting 211 from? The... I couldn't actually get the flag. He okay. Couldn't, he couldn't pick up the flag, so he was picking up the back. So I showed the flag, it's literally straight back into the teeth of the uh, the wind that's just down there. Forward. Forward. That setting's beautiful in the back. It is. That's all the shot matches it. It's just a little bit of a pull left. A bit, yeah, just see it bouncing down. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's good. Right. Just off the fairway, but not long into the shot there. Have you got a shot down this hole? Uh, Should I look at the stroke I, index? I, I don't know. I didn't bother looking. Uh, where it would be 14 if it's playing off the normal ones. So, so no. no, no shot. No shot. No shot. I don't need a shot. Okay. I don't need a shot. Okay. So, uh, what have we got, Mr. Shields? Yeah, I was having that problem. It's got a 188 then. 
188. That's about right. I'd say so, yeah, you got your 150 a bit further up, and that's 150 to the middle. You're not doing it. To... Back into the teeth. Yeah. I can land one up, land one short, and run it up. I reckon it's got a great chance. Well, it's, it's hard enough for it, it'll bounce nice, won't it? Like a ripple effect, isn't it? Yeah, pro proper, you know, links laid land. It's, it's a beautiful piece of turf, but he's just, he's just clumped a little bit. Oh, that's bending beautifully. Go, oh, he's just made the front edge. Got another eagle chance. He has, he has got another eagle chance. I reckon safe par. Oh yeah, thanks. Ch ch cheers for that. Safe par for me. So, yeah, safe par, yeah, thanks for that, yeah. Yeah, not that I'm against you or anything, you know. It's the shadowed man there eyeing up his prey. Oh yes. Do you have much in? 50. 50 yards, so you can just see the pin there. You can see mine just on the front edge. These par fives aren't the most testing in the world. This is not a particularly long golf course, but it's uh, it's defence. It's certainly the weather conditions. Yeah. And uh, at the moment, for me, trying to get trying to adjust the speed of the green. <laughs> yeah. I've probably dropped five shots just on the speed of the greens at the moment, just not quite judging them. Um, but this is this is why we do practice rounds, Rob. Indeed. So what are we going to go with? I've gone with a wedge on this one, just a standard pitching wedge. I was going to go from the air wedge. Okay. I've, I've gone for the pitching wedge. I'm going to try and play it a bit lower in. So a little pitching wedge, low in. Land it short, bump it up. Yeah. Oh, it's big. It's big. Oh. Steady, son. Landed it just a bit too far, but still putting for birdie. Yeah. Not, not good for me, that. It's not like me. You're normally a silent assassin from this range. I am, I am. I'm a little bit secret assassin on that. Tiny assassin. Yeah. The short midget. assassin. Dwarf. The midget assassin. The midget assassin. <laughs> Dobby the assassin. The short game. That's, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've run out of ideas. So, Rick's now got uh, a slightly longer than average chance for birdie. Uh, at the moment, it's distance control for Rick that he's been struggling with, so... He's not, uh, he's not really at home on these greens. So hopefully this will be a decent one for him. Be good practice for him anyway. Yeah, left it a little bit short again. It's about... Uh, that hit much harder. No, no, you can't really, can you? You might have to on Thursday. You know he's, what, this is important, but I'm going to wait. You're going to wait on this one? I'm let you go. Oh, it's like that, is it? <laughs> he's, he's very competitive, you know, he's, he's young Rick. <laughs> I'll catch it recording. Yeah, I never used to be. I was never that bothered, but now I'm... <laughs> you got a bit scared because I shot five over on front nine. Is that what it is? Rob, there's no, absolutely no evidence that ha ever happened. <laughs> absolute no video evidence. Nobody, nobody saw that. This is what, this is what we're waiting for. This is what people are seeing. But see, you didn't notice Dobby count. So that's how short I am. Just can't seem to get it to the hole, whether it's the late, late on in the day or I've just not gauged the speed of these greens. Right, Robbo, this has to drop to put some pressure on. It's got a great chance. Oh, you've got the speed of these greens. Well, now take that back. Yeah, thanks. Take that back. Somewhere between you and me would be good at these greens. Yeah, we won't be too far. And that's why on Thursday we work as a team together. Oh, all over we've it. Got it this on you, sir. Is it on me? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, thanks, sir. I'm mega competitive now, Rob. I've noticed. <laughs> I think you need a bit of that, though. Yeah, well, I'm the same, though. I'm really, really competitive, so... If I wasn't competitive, what would be the point in trying to qualify for the Open? Oh, exactly. Okay, so, a bit of aim pointing here. If you're not familiar with aim points, so it's kind of almost a proven way of being able to read putts. Rob's doing aim point express, so that's why I use the thing a bit. Adam Scott uses it. Uh, Poulter's a big fan of it as well. Okay, so for par. Very good putter. You are a very good putter. Thank you. Uh, do you, wanna, you can might as well stay there. So I've got this now for the win of the hole. Yep. Yeah, aim point is something I've been doing for a little while. Uh, we had one off day, didn't we? 
Um, we don't talk about that. No, no, we, we, we don't talk about that. that. That day never happened. That was a dark day. It was, it was. A dark was. day between the life, the uh, relationship of Rob and Rick that day. Yeah, it, it, it didn't go too well. <laughs> it was it was very silent afterwards. Right, this has to drop. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. He's got right, it. The, guys, boy, one up. the boy's done good. It's part one, end of part one. Join us on our next three holes for part two. It's going to be back on my channel. Guys, do subscribe. Check out Rob on all of his social media platforms. Uh, and I've been desperate to get you on the course, mate. I really have. You, 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 you're nuts. It's been a pleasure. It's been oh, a pleasure. Man. Guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the little match so far with me and Rob. Stay tuned because I'm sure it's going to get very tasty with six holes left to play. Yes.